The following program is a presentation of the Seattle Seahawks and the National Football League. Coming up on the Seahawks pregame show, the Seahawks team up with the United Way to climb Mount Rainier for a great cause. Kickoff is coming up. First up, the Seahawks team up with the United Way to climb Mount Rainier for a great cause. The United Way's climb for the community up close next on the Seahawks pregame show. Well, it has been a long busy offseason for the Seahawks and they have been busy off the field. The Seahawks teaming up with the United Way to try to end homelessness in King County. Todd Lewicki had a vision. He had a vision. He thought that the United Way's climb for the community would be a tremendous way to raise awareness for basic needs and to help families who are struggling in this tough economy. It's not every day one wakes up and says, you know, today I think I might climb to the top of Mount Rainier. But for one very special group of men and women, 14,411 feet was indeed their quest. And in their hearts as inspiration, the United Way of King County. The journey included Seahawks head coach Jim Mora, NFL commander Roger Goodell, Seahawks CEO Todd Lywicki, and United Way CEO John Fine. Let's huddle up over here, back over by the pack. Ahead of them, the cold fact that only half of the people who attempt this feat each year actually succeed. But this group was in gifted hands. They would be led by legendary mountain climber Ed Veasters and elite guide Peter Whitaker. The team spent about five hours training in the wind and fog on the lower snow slopes of Mount Rainier, which included the basics, all the way down to how to use their ice axe to stop themselves from falling. What do, you, what do you think? 40 yard dash with these yeah. crampons? You're going to bring that time down a little four, bit, four. are you? About a four four. Uh, shave a few hundred. <laughs> yeah. After training, Mora and company suit up for the frigid temperatures and unpredictable conditions that lie ahead. Each of them will be carrying around 50 pounds of gear on their backs. The first stage of the treacherous climb is a four and a half mile ascent to Camp Muir, ending 10,000 feet above planet Earth. The team averages about a thousand feet of elevation for every mile traveled. Slowly and steadily, they make their way to the final resting place before they summit a mountain that has 26 glaciers and five times more ice than all the other Cascade volcanoes combined. After eight hours of rest at Camp Muir, they begin the final stage to summit Mount Rainier. But not everyone is ready for what's ahead. Despite months of training in a New York City skyscraper carrying a weighted backpack up 50 flights of stairs, Commissioner Goodell saw the ghost of Rainier around 3 o'clock in the morning. All it took was a long glimpse down a 150-foot crevasse which separated him from his rope and leader, the kind of danger that can and has fatally swallowed poorly prepared, uncommitted climbers. After a gut check discussion with Whitaker, the man on the other end of that rope, Goodell decided he had come too far to turn back now. Ed Feasters knows firsthand that climbing this mountain is a life-changing experience. Quote, the harder you struggle, the more it changes your life. There's no doubt this group will wake up every day here forward with a different perspective on the obstacles life brings. And I'm not sure if he really knew what he was getting into on this climb. This is a big mountain. I had the greatest experience. Uh, that mountain, remarkable. Uh, but it really, it really was not on my bucket list, if you want to call it that. Uh, and I would not have done it without Todd. And he's the guy who put this all together for the Seahawks United Way. And, and I think it was a great thing. So I, I'm very appreciative of him. But I'm also appreciative of these guys over here, the four guys. Uh, that really did guide us through this, and in particular, Peter. I would not have finished if it was not for Peter. I can promise you that. The purpose of this was a climb, what we call the climb for the community, and uh, as I said, it was a challenge for us to climb up Mount Rainier, but our community's challenged with people who are struggling, 
and the people who came together here have raised a lot of good publicity for the, our efforts uh, on behalf of those people who are struggling to meet their basic needs, to put food on the table, to uh, keep them in their homes, to give them access to the benefits that they're eligible for. And we've, in addition to the great publicity, we've already raised, as I was going up, I was told 300,000. When I came down, I think it may be closer to 400,000. So that's a testament to uh, the... The NFL, the United Way, and you. Together we can climb any mountain. Tonight, the symbolic end of the successful 2008-2009 campaign with United Way of King County President and CEO John Fine raising the 12th man flag. The 08-09 campaign helped United Way of King County raise more money this year than any other United Way in the country with a total of $100.3 million. It's the third consecutive year the organization has broken the $100 million mark. Congratulations to all involved. Here's a look at the raising of the 12th man flag live and in person. And it's John Fine, CEO of the local United Way chapter. And you saw the feature on the pregame show was really the impetus behind the big climb of Mount Rainier that raised nearly half a million dollars that Jim Moore took part in, Commissioner Roger Goodell, and the United Way of King County has raised over $100 million again this year. Great work done by him, so he's certainly deserving the honor. Yeah, this, this United Way here locally has raised more money than any other United Way in the country, so the city of Seattle and, and the surrounding community has to be very, very proud of that effort. Here's the final preseason kickoff. And Courtney Taylor takes a knee in the end zone for the touchback.